Welcome to Module 20. Behavior doesn't happen randomly. It happens for a reason. The reason or the function of behavior can be determined by looking at what happens after the behavior, the consequence. Consequences shape our behavior over time. They can reinforce, increase the behavior, punish, decrease the behavior, or extinguish, cause behavior to increase briefly, then decrease. Let's start with an example. Antecedent. You feel thirsty. Behavior. You drink water. Consequence, your thirst goes away. The consequence, relief from thirst, reinforces your behavior of drinking water. Another example. Imagine an alien visiting Earth. It sees a light switch, antecedent, flips the switch, behavior, and the light turns on, consequence. The alien just learned what happens when you flip a switch. Now let's explore the four functions of behavior, which we can remember with the acronym SEAT, sensory or automatic, escape attention, tangible or access. Let's start with attention. Attention is a form of positive reinforcement because it adds something to the environment and increases behavior. By definition, attention is social, meaning it involves another person. Examples of attention include praise, great job, facial expressions, smiling or raising eyebrows, physical attention, hugs or tickles, scolding, even negative attention counts, eye contact. Attention is often most valuable when a child isn't getting enough or when they have difficulty communicating their wants and needs. Next, we have tangible or access. This function means the behavior leads to access to preferred items or activities. Examples include toys, playing games like hide-and-seek food, electronics, arts and crafts. Remember, tangible reinforcement is something you can see or touch that increases the behavior. Now let's talk about escape or avoidance. This function happens when behavior leads to the termination or avoidance of something that's unpleasant or aversive. Escape is a form of negative reinforcement because it removes something the person doesn't like. Examples of escape behaviors include avoiding difficult work, covering your nose to block bad smells, leaving loud or scary places, getting out of unwanted social situations. Let's say a student is about to take a test, antecedent. The student starts throwing pencils and cracking jokes, behavior. The teacher sends the student to the principal's office, consequence. What happens next? The student avoided the test and is likely to repeat the same behavior in the future because it worked. Finally, we have the sensory or automatic function. This is unique because it doesn't involve anyone else. Instead, the behavior provides sensory stimulation or makes the person feel good. Examples include tapping your leg, itching your head, flapping hands, spinning in circles, rocking back and forth, cracking knuckles. So we all do sensory behaviors, like biting our nails or humming a tune, because they give us some type of internal satisfaction. Understanding the function of a behavior helps us figure out why it's happening and how to respond. Whether it's for attention, escape, access to items, or sensory stimulation, identifying the reason lets us teach more appropriate behaviors to meet the same need. To recap, behavior happens for a reason. The four functions of behavior can be remembered with seat, sensory, escape, attention, and tangible. By identifying the function, we can support our clients in building new, more appropriate skills. Thanks for joining me in Module 20. Let's continue learning together.